Menu. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video. So today we will be taking a look at Overlord Flare. Look at this guy, he looks badass. A lot of people are hyped about him. Uh, we already had a little bit of a first impression on stream last Friday. Uh, we were a little bit disappointed, but I had some time, some extra time to play with him. And I also took some... Uh, I was testing him out, seeing exactly how the passive works with the Overlord Zygarde, Breton Zygarde, etc. And now I do have like a different opinion about him. Honestly, this Pokemon seems really good. So let's check it out. And as always, we will start with the skills and abilities. So starting with the passive, at the beginning of each round, you to apply some kind of new effect, which is called Twist, to one random enemy Pokemon and one random allied Pokemon. In this situation, I was lucky enough to get Twist only on Zygarde. As we can see over here from the icon, we have two stacks of Twist. This happens because also at the when you join a battle, you apply one stack of Twist to yourself. But what is this Twist about? When you have Twist on yourself, for each stack, you get 30% increase in the skill damage, 30% res and 30% defenses increase for for five rounds up to five times. So right now I do have around 440k special defense, for example, and Ray is also marked with a twist. What th this does to the enemies, though, is that when the enemies are marked uh, with a twist, you reduce 20% skill damage from them, uh, restriction damage and res up to three times for three rounds. So right now, for example, imagine that I want to use my dragon move on the, the fairy Pokemon, which is not effective. I was lucky enough to get twist again on Zygarde. And as you can see, my defense went up because I got another stack of twist on my Zygarde. So this is freaking awesome. Also, when joining a battle, besides getting that twist effect for the Zygarde, for the flare, you also, all the enemy dark type and fairy type Pokemon skill damage is reduced by 25% and the restriction damage that your Pokemon take is reduced by 20%. And also now, here's the second part of the passive which is also very nice. As a second part of the passive, we need either Overlord or Resonance Zygarde in our team. And the passive says, when there's an Overlord Zygarde in your team, the Flare Zygarde, the Overlord Flare Zygarde, can enjoy the passive skills and the special ability. Also, all of your Pokemon skill damage is increased by 50% and increase the 25% of damage reduction. And all of the attacks of the Flare Zygarde can attack diving, flying, burrowing, Pokemon, shadow forcing, etc. So, what this exactly means is that if there's a Zyg an Overlord Zygarde in the battle, not only you get the 50% damage increase and 25% damage reduction, but you also get the passive uh, of this Overlord Zygarde or Resonance Zygarde on the Flare, but with the exception that the passive, for example, over here increases the attack by 20%, uh, but it transforms into special attack for this Zygarde, because this Zygarde is a special attacker, the Flare Zygarde. And then also, all the control immunity, debuff immunity, etc. This, everything of this goes to Flare Zygarde. Not just that, but also the special abilities. And what they, what they mean by special abilities is actually the first abilities that are Rarity SS, which are our abilities that are special to Zygarde. And of course, one of the most important ones being Z, when attacked by Ice type, Dragon type and Fairy type skills, reduces the damage taken by 50% which is awesome. In the case of Resonance Zygarde, exactly the same thing happens, uh, with the exception that the passive is only a little bit different, gives you 30% attacks instead of 20% uh, of, the, of the Overlord. Sadly, Resonance has his own second ability, so, which is the Resonance ability actually, but this one is not getting inherited into Flare. Uh, I have a feeling if this thing would be inherited into Flare, Flare could be way too strong. 
but I'm not too sure about this. Also, I did uh, talk with Simon Lee, like asking if this was intentional, if there's any plans, because it would make sense since the flare uh, passive says that it inherits all of the uh, special abilities. It would make sense that since th this is a resonance Pokemon, a resonance Tiger with his own special ability, this ability should go to flare so right now this is not happening but who knows in the future that this might happen going to skill number one we have prison light a dragon type skill with 120 skill power ignoring and dispelling guardian souls and dealing special attack damage when attacking enemies that have twist you deal 100 percent extra power damage and this attack absorbs and converts 50% of the damage that it deals into your own HP. So technically this does a lot of damage and I did not crit, if it, it was a crit it would be a one shot. On the Z skill over here though, ignoring it's basically the same thing but if the enemy has twist which is this over here and we apply twist on these two rounds we apply to the, to the other two guys so there's nothing much we can see but basically if the enemy has twist you deal 150 percent extra damage and get one layer of twist effect to yourself so right now we are at three stacks and if this is working properly at the moment we use the attack we go up to to the four stacks and then it's our round again which means that we go up to the max stacks which is the five stacks and we are at one awesome already 600k defense special defense going to skill number two we have a ground type group move skill which basically is just dispels ignores and dispels uh, shields uh, but uh, pay attention that this means shields and not guardian souls. It's like the, those li little uh, white bars that you guys sometimes see on the Pokemon. So it will dispel shields and on top of that it also deals damage based on 30% of your own HP to Pokemon that have the twist effect. So right now I'm going to use it on Hoopa just to see. And we do extra damage because we apply the, uh, the enemy has the twist effect. So we did damage based on our 30% of your own HP. But also over here, if you use the Z uh, skill of this, uh, the Z version of the skill, you do damage based also on 50% of your max HP. And you instantly get one layer of twist to yourself as well. Right now we got confused, so this was not a good thing to do. And let's try it out now. And based on 50% of your own HP, it's just something crazy. Going into the skill number three, I believe this will be one of the most used skills of this Pokemon. It's a group type skill that ignores uh, Guardian Souls. This time it's actually Guardian Souls, okay. And also what it does, it applies twist to all the enemies. And not just that, for each enemy that is, uh, that is you twist, you increase your own speed and skill damage by 25% for two rounds. So basically right now we have 103k speed. If we use this, how much speed do we go to? Let's see. We go to 141k speed. So I believe we did indeed get like, since we twisted like two enemies, we did probably get like, around 50% in battle speed of above, which is insane. The Z version of the skill basically does nothing. The only thing that it does extra is that it probably gives one stack a twist to yourself, just like the other skill. We can see over here, let's see, and use the skill, you get the four stacks. So that's the only thing that you do. And this thing actually stacks for each Pokemon that you attack with this. It seems that you get that buff. <laughs> for each Pokemon that you attack with this but take a just keep in mind that this buff lasts for two rounds but it's still a crazy move to open the battle with like since you get so much speed usually if you're going to play this Pokemon you might be slower than the enemy but you will be tankier and with this you probably get enough speed to basically you just use this to open the battle and you might get enough speed to just attack again which will be very nice. And finally we get to the skill number four which is the ultimate core terminator. 
ignoring and dispelling guardian souls and dispelling the target's buffs and focus light. What this means with focus light is for example if the Pokemon has a spotlight activated will dispel the spotlight which kinda seems a little bit pointless to be honest. Uh, so, so if it would dispel the spotlight on a passive but like having to attack the spotlight to dispel it and having to use the ultimate against the spotlight to dispel it I mean the spotlight will be already dead most of the time so kind of seems a little bit pointless but let's move on then there's one very interesting thing for each for each of these things for each twist stack that the enemy has you deal 50% more damage and you can just hit the enemies anywhere they are and uh, just like the other ground type skills you can attack a flying type Pokemon so you basically just ignore that um, immunity of flying type to the ground type skills but also and this is why I do have Overlord Zygarde over here in the battle when there's Overlord Zygarde in the battle, you deal 100% of the skill to all of the other Pokemon as well. And I do believe, and I detest this, which is you also do even more damage with the ultimate to the target that you are, well, targeting, right? So we can just try it out and make an ultimate over here. As you can see, it did ignore the Guardian Souls, it did kill Kabalin, so it became a group skill and it's supposed to be single target on your z ultimate though the difference is that you will do instead of 50 percent more damage for for each stack of the the twist of the enemy right now you have zoroark with the twist stack we, we can see over there and over here on the icons now for each stack that the enemy has you'll deal 70 percent more damage and if the enemy has buffs instead of dispelling them you actually absorb them so basically you just absorb the buffs and you are able to use the buffs against them which is honestly really crazy to think about uh, <laughs> now no 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 my idea about this pokemon is that it actually can become a very decent pokemon indeed with a passive that you get a lot of defenses in battle for free just because of stacking your passive on yourself. I mean, this seems like it's a Pokemon that scales awesome on defenses. So if you do have put strikes on defenses, this Pokemon should be scaling awesomely. Not just that, but on your ultimate, Core Terminator, you doing more damage based on how many stacks the enemy has? Boy, this feels honestly that you can just make a tank <laughs> you could just make this Pokemon almost uh, like uh, mostly focused on tank, not even having much special attack at all. And you can make it work that way. For example, let's try over here uh, against Zexy, which is he has a Hoopa with a lot of special attack. So we start with the endless circle as usual, giving ourselves ourselves much more speed and as I was predicting uh, you guys get like so much speed that you will be ending up outspeeding the enemy and let's try to do this again we have 160k speed and doing this again see if it increases our speed or not 179k speed not bad not bad and now it's Hoopa's turn to attack us over here Hoopa did not do much damage Two reasons, passive reduces the dark type skill power and also reduces restriction damage. I don't have much damage reduction though still, but I have 4 stacks of my passive already. And honestly, with Hoopa having 3 stacks of passive, I believe that I can just do this and one shot to Hoopa. Hoopa will try to do more damage, I will actually give him like another turn to do damage, I'll just do this and see if he can... Um, uh, probably just take me out see what he does even as you can see even with his uh, normal dark move since I have a lot of restriction damage um, a restriction damage reduction I mean I feel like with my dark move um, with, with his dark move sorry he does more damage than with his ultimate because right now, uh, right now I just use this and get more damage, 70% more damage for each stack. 
of, of passive on him and this just destroys so in my opinion it kind of feels like it's a pokemon that you should build as a tank he needs to survive to get those stacks if you survive enough you will just win so but the at the same time it's a heavy investment since this could cost around like a resonance pokemon it's like it's an overlord which probably will cost one uh, probably no it does cost i believe 1.6k fire books and then you would need as an overlord zygarde as well to take like the most out of this pokemon to take to make this pokemon the best that you can so it would be around the price of a resonance is it better than a resonance probably not in the early game like there's discussing meta is always a hard topic but let's just say let's just say that if you get one of the resonance like Tiago Palio you'll probably be uh, much much better and much easier to build this thing should you like you need a lot of things to make this thing work and um, but it feels awesome not like don't get me wrong on this perspective it does feel awesome and you get a lot of a uh, like a lot of damage reduction, a lot of uh, a reduction against the meta, which is Dragon, Fairy, Ice, etc. And also, not just that, on top of it, there might be a chance that in the future, uh, I'm not saying that, that it will, but there might be the chance that in the future, whoever has a Resonance Zygarde, and this is like for already like the top players who already have them, and if you want to try this one out, uh, there's a chance that the uh, the flare will copy this one but there's just a theory not something that i'm saying that will happen for sure okay and for a last battle example we are going against a black and white but we have to keep in mind that this is a highly developed account with a lot of costumes a lot of mounts a lot of stuff that actually matters in battle for example this guy has 9 927k uh, special attack while this one 806 physical attack so it's a lot of attack and a lot of stats for this power in my opinion so and even in this situation i'm going to to do it like this see if we get a stack of uh things for ourselves we don't we are giving stacks for our teammates instead of ourselves and still we are surviving uh, surprisingly enough we are actually surviving some of the stuff and honestly uh being able to survive this look being able to survive a black and white that has echo power double echo power keeping this in mind like kind of important to understand that the account that i'm testing with a with a flare zygarde has nothing like it has some costumes but besides that there's many other things in the game in your game that can matter in battle there are many other things that can give you like damage reduction and all the other stuff and this account has nothing and just survived a black and white even though they are not developed uh but it's still a, back, a black and white with double echo power so i do believe that they have potential um it does feel like the other skills honestly don't do as much damage as i can test over here the dragon skill i mean if it crits it does damage <laughs> uh, okay maybe since it's not developed account um i was not critting as often so it didn't feel like it was doing damage but apparently if it does crit it feels like it does damage indeed but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. What did you guys feel about this Pokemon? Do you guys think it's going to be meta? Do you guys think it's going to be used by top players? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.